This is Bella Dutch from All Sing I Tarot, here with your bi-weekly reading for the month of November. This is going to be for the zodiac sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising from November the 15th through the 30th. I'm not going in order of the birthdays, actually, for this bi-weekly. I'm going in the most urgent, most urgent messages. Um, I said in my reading, uh, my weekly reading, that things were going to change in November. There were going to be a lot of abrupt changes. So Spirit just urged me to do a bi-weekly, okay? So you might miss out on my weekly reads, okay? The special right now, today's the 7th. The special that's going um, for this week is going to be 30 for 30. That's 30 minutes for 30 bucks. <laughs> Plus the fee, there's a fee that PayPal charges me and I charge you. I'm not paying to talk to you, you pay to talk to me. Okay, Linda? <laughs> and then I have the 60 for 60, which is 60 minutes for 60 bucks. Okay, so definitely take advantage of that. Jump on top of that. Remember, you have 48 hours to book a reading. If you've already um, tried to get a reading from me and your invoice was canceled, you will not qualify for 30 days. Okay, guys? All right, Aries, let's see what's happening with you because I know that there was some energy that was going on with you guys. Let's see what your um, monthly said. This I'm not doing this so that you disregard the monthly. You pay attention to the monthly, and this is additional messages, okay? So yours said divine convergence, okay? So we meet again. This was talking about your twin flame. A lot of you didn't even... I don't think that that um, reading... Um, I don't think that you guys clicked on it, okay? I think that a lot of people look at with the message say and they decide whether they want to click on it you should have clicked on it because it was talking about your twin flame all right so let's see spirit of universe what are the messages you have for aries sun moon rising from the november 15th through the 30th show me aries and i'm going in the order of the most urgent the way spirit told me to lay these down so the ones with the biggest changes for the month okay Here we go, Aries. It's not going to be a long read. I'm trying to get faster. Okay, here we go. The Magician. The Page of Swords. Yeah, I believe that's the page, yeah. What is this? This is the, um, the Queen. Is this the Queen? Yeah, the Queen. I think that's the Queen of Pentacles. This is the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. These cards look funny to me because I'm not, I don't use them all the time. A uh, um, client bought these for me. We have the Three of Cups under the Magician. Under the Page of Swords, this is the Knight of Cups. Under the Queen of Pentacles, wow, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And I don't never do anything in reverse, so I don't know how that got that way. Under the Page of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Swords. Okay. The overall energy for the month is the Two of Swords. Okay, Aries. All right, let me look at these messages. I'll be right back. Okay, Aries, babies. All right, so I had to look at this because... <coughs> First of all, guys, still got this cough, guys. Please pray for me. I am still dealing with this shit. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Anyway, I know that's like so disgusting. Like, Bella, fuck. Just stop coughing. Well, I got to. Shit. I'm trying to get this message out to, to y'all. Okay? All right. So, anyway, I got two different stories that's moving. Okay, Aries? I have, first of all, those of you that are Aries that haven't spoke to a fire sign in a long time, you're crazy about this person. Seems like you're looking through their social media. You could be stalking them a little bit. Um, <clears throat> you may have sent them messages and they have not responded to your messages it looks like this month you're going to catch them dead center could be at a party so definitely go out um go out to the bars and you know have a good time get around family you have thanksgiving that's coming around you know it's going to bring this person out and you're going to run right back into this person if it is a fire sign leo aries sagittarius like yourself okay um as well as 
I had the six of cups on this as well. So this is definitely a soulmate for you. Okay. So you guys might get back. Like once you run into each other, you might get back on hot and heavy, but like it, it it's kind of like a double standard being as though you're not in this person's face and you're just texting them messages and stuff like that. And they haven't seen you. It's like they're a little standoffish when you run into them at a party or out in the open, they're going to get really weak for you. And you guys might get back on hot and heavy, you know, um, the sex may, you know, get to twisting again. All right. And this is only with the fire sign. Okay. Now I'm looking at these pages. I have two pages and two nights. Definitely children are going to be affecting your relationship, whatever relationship that you got going on. I feel like uh, those of you Aries that may be connected to uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, um, this person, it kind of seems like maybe they have a baby's mother, baby father that lives a distance. Okay. So I'm talking to those of you that may be dealing with someone whose uh, ex-wife, ex-husband keep getting in a picture because they're raising the children or something like that. And they live out of town. That person is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, it seems to me, I also had the two of wands. This situation is a dead end. I'm going to tell you, listen, if you're dealing with that earth sign, okay. And they have that baby mama that lives out of town. All right. Um, definitely for Virgo Taurus, Virgo Taurus, not Capricorn, Virgo Taurus. Okay. Definitely for Virgo Taurus, if they got that baby mama that live out of town and it seems like it's affecting your relationship because every time she go calling or every time he go calling, they pick up and they run to their rescue. OK, that is a dead end for you. You need to let that go. OK, because I had the two of wands on that um, as well as the eight of swords, which lets me know that that is already a divine partnership that's already playing out. So that's their karmic soulmate. They're not going to leave that person no time soon. OK, so I'm letting you know, I'm giving you the advice. Let them go. All right. Now, for those of you that are Aries that are dealing with a water sign, you could have a baby's father or a baby's mom that lives a distance who happens to be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're still in a karmic contract with that person, even though you may be trying to move forward with a fire sign. A fire sign may come back, but they're only a soulmate. The um, water sign who you have children with, that person is a karmic soulmate. So listen. Even though you run into this person at a party or some sort of event, they're only coming back in to show you that it's not time for you two to be together because you have to go and fulfill that karma contract that, you know, with your, with your, your children's father or your children's mother, you have to go back and you have to take care of that. More about that in a personal reading. You got to hit me up all seeing I tarot at gmail.com. I will not go through the whole, how the shit works on this free reading. I won't do that. Okay. So hit me up. Take advantage. This week I got 30 for 30 going, 60 for 60 going, okay? So after you listen to this video, flood my inbox. Bella, get me an invoice. I want I want you to talk about what's going on here. Because, yes, my baby's father is a water sign, and I'm still in love with a fire sign. Yes, this is me. You're talking to me. So let's what's going on here, okay? Because you need to know what's happening. Um, there's a lot of changes that are going on. Uh, for definitely coming up for earth signs, okay? And these earth signs, even though you're connected to an earth sign, I told you the earth sign vertex is hitting towards the end of the month. So a lot of people that are involved with earth signs, if you're not air, if you're not water, you could be getting cut off of this person. This person could be cutting you completely off and going after their karmic soulmates, okay? So these are abrupt relationships that are going to end very quickly. OK, we have the Knight of Swords with the Page of Pentacles. And this is just talking about what their object of affection is, what they're going after. And a lot of them, like I said, if it is an earth sign, they're going after water. OK, as well as if you have any children that happen to be by water sign, you guys fight all the time. You don't get along. OK, that person is going to be coming back in. You need to go back and you need to address that and you need to fix that relationship, okay? Because our vertex is already over. So therefore, if you're still not balancing with your karmic soulmate, there's a problem, Linda, okay? I don't want you to be left out, all right? So hit me up and we'll talk about that, okay? Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Like I said, take advantage of the specials that I got going on. You got 48 hours to book your reading. Never send me money. People always just send money through. Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. All right. Um, yeah. So hit me up. All right. I love you much, Aries. Until next time. Thank you, guys.